All right, here's a quick recipe for some awesome bread, which we're gonna call um, homemade bread for people who have given up on life because you don't have to think or measure anything. You're just gonna put a little bit of sugar, like, I don't know, that much. And we're gonna have some instant yeast, that, I don't know, same amount, like that much. Okay, and you put everything in a Bauhaus cup so it looks like you're a culture person that likes to go around telling people about all the awesome stuff that came from Germany before World War II. So, next thing is adding a little bit of warm water to activate the yeast. I always preheat like 10, 11 ounces maybe, but you start off with just a little bit. Like when you're a kid and you're making yourself some cocoa and you don't want to get any lumps, you just add a little bit, mix it until all the solves. You just gotta go for like 15 seconds. That's about it. And you dump everything into a Tupperware or whatever you have available. Get rid of the cup. There you go. Now there goes the rest of the water and we're ready to add some olive oil. Now, why olive oil? You might have not asked. Uh, well, you can use whatever the hell you want, but trust me, this tastes way better with olive oil. And also makes you look like you know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you're the kind of person that found out about Gordon Ramsay before he became known for making people cry on TV. So, there's that. And you just keep on mixing it. And now we're gonna add the flour. Now, for this particular recipe I like to use white flour the one that's like chopped in little pieces almost like a powder I don't know just as many zeros as you want I, I, I don't think it makes any difference you're gonna use like a pound of it and then you're gonna add a little bit more but for now it's like a pound and four or five tablespoons remember the point of this is not thinking not measuring just dump stuff into the pink top of where like you're playing mud cakes really this is, as we said earlier, it's homemade bread for people who just don't give a fuck or who gave up on their existence or whatever the hell I said earlier. And you just keep on mixing until you have no lumps because, you know, lumps cause stomach herpes. That's by far the worst kind of herpes you can get. So, yeah, there's that. Avoid the lumps and you cover it until it looks like beer. It's just like 15 minutes go watch South Park or something. And as predicted, it looks like beer. And it smells a little bit like it too. It's a great smell, really. So anyway, we're gonna go on and add salt, which you wanna wait until this point, because if you add it early on, it kinda slows down the yeast and you don't wanna do that. Anyway, just add as much as you want. You're probably going to use like, I don't know, a tablespoon or so. You can also go ahead and try different stuff like, I don't know, garlic salt is awesome. Just make sure you stay away from the sweets because honey and jelly and all that doesn't go well. That fucking stinks. But I mean, if you're going for sandwiches, garlic salt is awesome. Or oregano, cheese, whatever. Everything works with this. So yeah, we're gonna keep on stirring that until it's sort of even. Can tell I'm a lazy asshole. I don't wanna get my hands sticky, so I'm just using a spoon. And when I can't keep going, I just dump everything there in the counter. Use a little bit of extra flour so it doesn't stick. And just, you know, dump the whole thing there. Just wait until the last moment, trying not to get his fingers sticky. And now you just put a little work on it. Not much, it doesn't have to be really perfect. Just go around with it, you fold it a couple of times. You don't even have to work as much as I'm working there. It's like, I, I look like a fucking asshole. Look at it, going back and forth and back and forth. Look like, a, like an idiot. I was really fucking hungry. I just couldn't wait for it to be ready. So I'm just dancing like an asshole. And there you have it. It was like, what, 30 seconds? Just until it was a little bit spongy. That's it. And you'll rest a little bit more. I don't know. Go watch some 
more South Park or something. Okay, so it's like 15 minutes past and you can see it's a little bit bigger, but it's really way more spongy. That's what matters. And now we're going to take all the air out. I have no idea why, but some lady on the internet said you had to do that and she soon she knew what she was talking about. So I just went ahead and tried it and it really does make a difference. I have no idea why, but I tried it both ways and you, you're better off just doing the herky jerky dance I'm doing right now for a couple couple more minutes until it starts like fighting it gets like really elastic and you just can't really fold it that much anymore you don't feel like the moisture is coming out that's when you know it's ready and it can go into the oven holy shit I was really angry at that dough Leave it alone, it's ready, you asshole. That's it. See how even that looks? That's just perfect. That's ready. Shake your olive oil bottle like a fucking maniac all over the place. Or on a baking sheet, if you have one available. Then that's just so it doesn't stick. Make a few cuts on top so that it can grow easier. Yeah, cover the camera, you dumbass. There you go. Now shake your phone uncontrollably. Well, I don't know what the hell went wrong there. There it is, a little bit of flour, so that it looks like, you know, the shit you see on the magazines or whatever the modern day equivalent is, magazines. I don't know if those still exist. Anyway, goes on the first notch there, not, not all the way to the bottom, just a little bit separated from the bottom and about 180 celsius or 360 fahrenheit that's gonna take like 45 minutes an hour i don't know just come back and check it every now and then so more south park i guess yeah. Doo -doo -doo. okay it's been like 50 minutes more or less, at some point I raised the temperature to 200 Celsius, that's about 390, 400 Fahrenheit. And uh, look at that. That shit's ready. Trust me, that bread is the shit. It's amazing. Holy crap, that's just beautiful. That's making me hungry. I spent like, what, five minutes working and well, like an hour and a half waiting, but total work, five minutes, tops. And that crust, you could bludgeon a buffalo to death with that. That's beautiful crust. What the fuck am I filming? Oh, there you are. Adjusting the phone again. Time to make a cut. Time to burn my hand. Just came out of the oven, you fucking dumbass. I mean, just look at that solid toasty crust with a warm spongy inside like a unicorn spot hole. Fresh out of the oven, it's cheap, any idiot can make it. There's really not much more you can ask for.